Hey guys, it is Vision here again with uh, the long awaited and hopefully not disappointing video just talking about a little bit about base building, uh, especially at Town Hall 9 here. Uh, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you two bases that held, uh, I do believe, between them 14 attacks um, in this war. And both ended up being dipped on, and even one of them was dip failed on. So both of them ended up getting dipped on to finish, uh, but they held up an amazing amount of attacks. Um, and that, this will hopefully tell you a few different things um, about some principles that they've used, what you might want to use yourself, uh, and also about what you might want to do when you face a base like this uh, in war. And that is win and dip early. Um, you don't want to burn eight attacks on a base, especially a lower weight Town Hall 9 base. What you want to be doing is going, okay, we haven't managed to crack this, uh, and we need to do something about that so we can secure some more attacks on different bases. So uh, let's go have a look at the war details, go into the war events here, and I do believe we want to go 23 minutes, uh, so 23 hours 40 left for the first hit on this base. Sorry about the spammy, spammy, spammy. You'd think I'd be really good and pre-prepare all of this. So 2340, uh, that was me. See, I scouted, go me. All right, scouts, they make a difference in war, guys. So here we go, two minutes, seven seconds, uh, coming in with a witch slap on boss man. Uh, this appeared to be Big D's uh, favorite attack. So let's go and have a look and see what happens. As you can see, a very symmetrical base. So before anything happens, let's talk about this a little bit. Uh, really symmetrical base. A little bit of splash to the outside, uh, but wanting to trim out these sides uh, and then probably shoot right up the guts with the bowlers, the tanking, and the kill squad um, right through the core. So not sure what's in here, but let's have a look and see what happens. I should have watched this ahead of time, let's be honest. So witches uh, and healers down the side, that's the witch slap. Tanking in the middle there, um, and the jump goes down. So king and bowlers gonna follow that tanking through to the middle. Needs the storage to go down before the things actually move to the middle. And there it is, pulls the CC. So squishy CC can be dealt with by poisons. So not a huge deal here um, as far as that goes. Expecting some of his troops to be in the middle uh, to do the damage there. CC's taken care of. But as you can see, everything has gone around the outside. So nothing's really pushing the core too hard here. Uh, just a couple of troops here and there. Going to be getting picked off as well. So Queen's walking on the outside with a few skellies. She's the one taking the heals from the healers. Um, the core is pretty much done. Unfortunately, there's a lot of trash to the core and there's so many defenses up still. So came in there and probably came about it the wrong way, or clearly came about it the wrong way, um, or it would have been a triple. But the base is designed as such that there's enough high hit point buildings that the funnel's going to take some time. Not only that, the buildings are closely packed so that it should pull things out to one side if the funnel is not set well enough early. Um, and as well as that, even if you pick off uh, these five or six buildings, if you haven't picked these ones off as well, uh, things are going to work their way around the outside here. Um, another key point was you saw before that the Teslas were in here as well. So there was a Tesla sitting here and it was being tanked by a storage. So it is going to be a pretty high percentage, but really um, too much defense up to be worried about. Um, the triple ever happening on that one so there we go so there is the first hit on boss man comes away with 93 percent um there were some epic fails on that base um so let's have a quick look at the war events again hopefully i've written this down well we've got a lot to get through guys uh it's just amazing how many fails are on these bases but 23 and 8, so let's have a look. Mr. Fister coming in. That's a pretty funny name. Uh, it's pretty good. Mr. Fister coming in here. So he is coming in. This was the same attack composition he used on another base. So it's pretty much a cookie cutter army. Um, pretty confident it was going to work for him. Uh, but with those low level heroes, uh, it's going to make a huge difference. So 
as you see this is a low weight nine base as well so reasonably equivalent so let's see what they come in with gonna be coming in on the queen side always a good choice gonna be relying on the valks aggroing straight to the queen uh, the issue is gonna be you know that when a base is designed this way with set holes in the base you're probably looking at spring traps um, and the idea is if valks do go in that core rather than trying to push their way through they're going to take the path of least resistance and that's going to mean they get out of here so let's see how this plays out for them we know it's a fail uh, but here comes the tanking tanking should come down before most of your cleanup to be honest um, as soon as they're in, in range um, there we go valkyries gonna move to the outside they're aggroing to the queen there a little bit um, so they piece out real quick double back to the enemy valk and then decide to hit a wall which is just amazing he misses with the jump looking at it um, but they piece they just jump their way through the wall uh, and end up shopping around the outside as expected and get vaporized by giant bombs so not doing what he wanted uh, everything down hogs come in so he only has the seven hogs um, basically he was expecting everything to be up including tanking in the core so the hogs could just be put in on one side to help uh, augment what was going on still has abilities gonna be popping those now um, and so it's basically just epic fails so huge design principles going on here um, obviously purposely left, left holes in the base um, I'm not a huge fan of that personally um, but obviously um, it's worked uh, in this instance uh, with spring traps and giant bombs so just predicting the pathing of troops because they do go for that least resistance uh, and then also making the funneling difficult by having um, a high hit point building set in to a point where things are going to get distracted left and right of it as opposed to moving up through the middle so um, as I said that was the first two of eight hits on boss man's base um, the final hit being a Town Hall 10 dip on the base and what we're gonna do is we are now gonna look at a base that held six attacks uh, including a dip fail so let's go into the war details here I think I have this written down well this will be the last one we go through uh, for this but we get to discuss a few different principles on the base here if I ever get to it think we're looking at 1829 here it is oh that was a hit on boss man that was a 49% epic fail I think we'll ignore that one gosh where did I lose uh, this hit on Rosie so let's have a wander through I'm gonna apologize just enjoy the music and relax for just a moment so I think it was base 20 or 20 20 to 25 that uh, came in And failed miserably 18 Logan 89% two star so this is the one we're going in on uh, so here we go let's pause up for a minute 30 30 heroes uh, it was a dip I mean look at that max level freezes gosh what a you know this should be wrecked let's look at it um, three high level hounds 22 loons baby drags 30 30 heroes uh, this should be done done and dusted no GG game over so let's see uh, how this attack plays out let's just let it go let's let it go we'll do one more one more show of this um, very shortly so drops in two pulls the CC with the hound so didn't deal with the CC ahead of time um, kind of expecting that to just work out I'm guessing so poisons come down weirdly on the Queen um, as opposed to on the CC just hoping that CC is gonna get worked out by the other troops which it does eventually which is fine uh, but basically at this point that CC has done so much damage uh, along with these air defenses uh, yeah done when you look at that he's got about four balloons left um, and a hound and these troops are just wrecked so this is a Town Hall 10 failing versus a town all nine and just an epic fashion 
horrendous horrendous hit um, yeah you gotta call it what it is really thought he could just bully his way through but too much too much boom GG 89 so we're gonna quickly look at this base again just really quick like uh, you can see offset air defenses uh, going on in this base so it can be air hit but normally that would be with a queen walk um, included and if you do queen walk this base to get the air defenses you're not going to be getting the enemy queen um, or the cc for that matter which means it's going to be a drag base uh, but these guys clearly not looking at that um, at all at all um, but there is plenty more to this base than that so um, I gotta give credit where it's due it's a really good um, base in the way that it has defended this um, and so we will look at one more hit on this base just to give you a better idea of the principles you need to look at the attacks that you're going to be facing at Town Hall 9 it is going to be uh, generally you could have mass drags potentially but more than likely it's going to be the witch slap the hogs potentially Lalo so we're going to go back out to the war map we'll have a look at the war events uh, boom let's pop down to the hit on Rosie early on just to see what's happened so shaggy comes in versus rosie using that uh beautiful little potion that maxes out your spells and bits and pieces uh, and he's going to be coming in with the witch slap so let's play that out here and see what actually happens so he comes in starts the witches in the corner they're not taking the heat yet so two witches uh two healers on one side and one healer on the other then in comes the tanking with the heroes uh, and a couple of troops to help set that funnel a little bit quicker. So there we go, wizard down. And the jump spell comes in. It's not a very good jump spell. And then what we see as well, the CC comes out and splits because the CC has been pulled by the troops on the outside here. Right there. Uh, and then the heroes are up here. But once these buildings go down, there's a very, very huge difference uh, distance to go, which means these troll Teslas are going to be what pulls troops around. So let's have a look. See, troops come in, start wrecking stuff in the middle. CC goes down, but at this point, the queen has now decided to walk around a corner and she's going to take out a storage, a Tesla, and keep moving. So uh, lost a lot of stuff in the core here. And that skelly trap uh, putting in work so just a few little things to frustrate the entry on the base other stuff still walking around the outside uh, and healers are going to be getting picked off by air defenses anytime now so burned a lot of spells in the core just to get that star uh, from the cc and look at that two jumps uh, and no wall breakers in this composition and basically meant that those jumps cut off uh, a good half of the base at that point need to be covering if you're covering a witch slap you need to be able to get through the base uh, basically with the two jumps basically you need to be able to access everything uh, from those two jumps and these were just really poorly placed and the funnel was not set enough so we'll two times this does end up getting pretty uh, good percentage but just not enough going on for this to be a triple so we're going to speed that up there obviously the sweepers putting in work and holding back those healers from doing their job uh, with the splash damage now huge splash damage section coming in taking out those skellies uh, meaning that those witches can be targeted uh, and this is done so at 85 percent two star was the way the account was opened uh, in the end it did get tripled by a town hall 10. so what we're looking at guys i know it's been a bit of a long video but the key that you want to be looking at at town hall 9 is look at what you're getting hit by and think about designing a base that is going to have uh, features that are going to help frustrate that troll teslas troll bombs to the outside for the witch slap um, and things like that to frustrate both the funnel and the pathing initially for the kill squad uh, offset air defenses can be good um, depending on what you're likely to face and the other side of that is with the witch slap if it gets tripled 
If your base is getting tripled by witch slaps, you need to rearrange the way that your walls are, redesign that base so that your base isn't as easily accessed by two jumps. Um, yeah, so just a few quick principles and things to be working on. I'd love to go in depth on a specific base build. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments and uh, we can do that and perhaps we might even do that live on stream at some point. Uh, but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, if you liked it, smash a like. If you didn't, don't put a thumbs down. That's just mean. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time and leave a comment uh, if you do want a specific base build looked at. Um, and we can talk about that next time. So thanks for stopping by and I will see you next time.